in the script there are these lines that are from taken from the books which really capture the, the I suppose the wisdom of Pooh and Piglet being you know a bear of very little brain but also a bear of a very big heart. Ewan's he's got this this obviously this wonderful charisma and presence on screen but he's a great leader on a set because that's the thing that's it's not just what happens between action and cut but it's creating that ongoing atmosphere and the working environment that of course affects other people and he he has kind of boundless energy and enthusiasm for what he's doing and quick to laugh quick to engage and to try new things and there's a playful quality about him that's quite childlike which makes him perfect for the role of Christopher Robin where you see the man, but underneath that you see the, the boy that he was. What's wonderful about her, she came in just so natural and present and sweet. Uh, there's nothing kind of over the top about her. She kind of, res I think, intuitively really spon responded to the character and the, the material. Um, and if you do something slightly different, she'll go with it. And uh, it's very, it's really moving to watch actually to someone who's just kind of effortlessly doing it and embodying the character of Madeline with the same feel that the books had with, with who Christopher Robin is and was. It's Winnie the Pooh, and these are the characters that my generation, my parents' generation, and now Madeline's generation, Bronte's generation, are growing up with. Those, these characters are very familiar, so I think there's, it's easy to respond to them because it's not, it's, they're not new to us. Um, and that's, that's kind of a quality that uh, makes it much easier to work with. If, had, they, had they been you know, completely new characters, it would have been hard to make it up as you go along, but this is, you know, we all know and love Winnie the Pooh, so we know, we know what he's about. Because Mark is such, it seems to have such a, a varied career in the kind of the genre of films that he's made. It, it means that every so often he'll come up, he'll do something that feels kind of quite left field, or he'll make he'll he'll really like what an actor's doing and kind of want to explore it further. And so he's he's an independent, original mind. But taking material that's so known and so loved means obviously respecting what needs to be told in, in a particular way to its audience. But Mark comes in and, and puts a little bit of his own, um, his, his take on it. And that's, that's really nice, it, it's very creative. I think audiences will love the, how, how realistic these these critters, these animals look, and how human they feel, and how real and believable they are. And then the story being a charming one, and a funny one, and ultimately a story of a man coming back to his family, having kind of lost his way, which is something that you know many people can experience when they go off and do something different in their lives, and, and, and forget where home is. And this is, this is a charming story of a man finding his, his home again and finding that, that inner child, knowing that we all have that within us and we can always go back to it if we remember what it was that, that gave us that joy and that love when we were little. Um, and I, I think it's kind of something that will appeal to everyone because of its, of its warmth and its humour.